sexy WGL intro made by Manor. That was me. I did it by myself. Without any help. Anyway, guys, we're here to talk about... Um, well, we're here to talk about Counter-Strike in general. Um, as may some of you may already know, um, we have been waiting very patiently, myself, Mana, and a few others, for the beta to start, which was scheduled to begin at the beginning of October and hasn't yet arrived. So we thought we'd make a very quick video for you guys to introduce you to Counter-Strike using the current iteration of the game, Counter-Strike Source. And as you can see, I've just loaded up a game on the internet here and uh, I'm just going to start running through the main part of the game, which is the buy menu, Stuart. Yes, uh, Ross is a terrible player, but he goes through the buy menus like a pro. Um, yeah, he's going through shotguns. It's basically just a menu of all the weapons. Um, here you've got the submachine guns, so you've got four. Well, you're going through them really quick. But anyway, pistols, uh, sniper rifles, <laughs> Jesus, Ross. And there's the AWP. Uh, the one shot, and um, finally, there's only one LMG in, in the game at the moment, but uh, yeah, and equipment, obviously you've got the Kevlar body armor with helmet, flashbang, HE, smoke, and diffusal quit, and night vision, but no one uses that. I think the key thing in this is that uh, one of the prime differences between Counter-Strike and a lot of the other multiplayer games is that all the guns are available from the outset of the game. Um, it's something that obviously uh, doesn't happen in the Call of Duty range, um, especially for myself, who doesn't put in as many hours as some others, uh, can't necessarily get to those top locked guns at the beginning. Um, as you can see now, I'm just, uh, I've just been doing a little bit of pub public playing um, with uh, Mana, sitting there laughing at me most of the time. I, I, was, I was eating a KFC. Eating a KFC, it and being good. inspiring as normal, um, <laughs> uh, shouting fail at me You from, did fail from loads the sofa. of times. Yeah, I don't know, maybe. you had to edit the shit out of this clip to get good look at this. Yeah, I know. The, the important thing is, <laughs> just, to, uh, just to let people know, this isn't a montage of my greatest Counter-Strike hits. Uh, this is um, just me playing for an hour or so um, to get some footage to show you guys. Anyway, so coming back to Counter-Strike Source. Um, it should have been out. We're checking it every morning when we get in from work and the beta's still not released. But um, hopefully in the next 10 days it will be, which um, we're looking forward to, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, like checking it two or three times a day every time we come into the uh, computer we're checking it to see what's going on we are so on. sad but, <laughs> yeah. but um, like, I don't know about you I've been playing it for ten years you've probably been playing it a little bit longer because you introduced me to it and I remember that some time ago going back and playing on the modems so the fact that it's now making a comeback and coming back into uh, coming back into our lives on the console I think is uh, is quite exciting for me actually and I hope that it is imp uh, important and it takes off on the consoles. One interesting point is um, that not many people know is like Counter-Strike, there's been actually a few different versions. There's been 1.6, which was like the first ever stable release. And then there's Counter-Strike Source, which is what Ross is playing now. Um, and what Go uh, Global Offensive is trying to do is trying to bring those two t communities together. Um, so they're trying to take feedback uh, from both camps, and um, which is probably why the beat is taking so long, because they keep tweaking it. Um, before they're ready to start the closed beta. In, in terms of looks, is probably closer to uh, Counter-Strike Source, certainly than 1.6. Counter-Strike Source has been the engine that they've uh, continued to upgrade, the graphics that they've continued to upgrade. 1.6 hasn't changed for as nearly as long as I can remember, probably eight years. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I think uh, Global Offensive is based on the Portal 2 engine, which came out recently, and that game looked fantastic. That was um, using, you know, the Source engine, which is years old. So, yeah, I've got high hopes for, for Go. Um, anyway, Ross, you wanted to talk something about how you love this game for being balanced and yeah. the differences between Call of Duty. Uh, this game is seen as being uh, an, uh, an elitist game. Um, there's a lot of professional leagues, and one of the reasons that people love this game over the Call of Duty games, etc., is that there is no reward for longevity of play. Right. Um, that's probably the most insightful oh, oh thing God. you've ever said. Where did you rip <laughs> that off from? Um, I might have heard um, 
Chad from Valve mentioned it at Eurogamer. I thought that's a good, that's a good nugget. I'll Brilliant. remember that one and pass it off as my own. Thank you very much for pointing that out good. to the listeners. No, I know what you mean though, because like in this game, all the guns and equipment available from the start, as long as you've got enough money, you can buy anything. Um, and yeah, it doesn't reward players for having all the pro perks or guns that you can't have. So yeah, good point. I think the, the, the important thing is when you die in this, you die because at, at that moment in time, the person that killed you was the better player. They had the better shot or they had chosen a better weapon for the situation. There isn't this, he had hardline pro perk or he had um, a kill streak come in that killed you or anything like this. There's, it's completely flat and balanced. And that's what makes it so appealing for clan games and for, um, for pro players. So every time you die in this game, you are saying he's better than me. Yeah, that's exactly what I say. So how I, often I, do you say that, Ross? <laughs> <laughs> I, see, I sit there, I say over the microphone, mate, you are better than me. No, I, no watching the footage now, you are, uh, I would say, yeah, you are definitely a mouse keyboard player. And yeah, yeah. compared to a control pad, um, you can see the difference. Yeah, that's uh, that's certainly something that um, certainly something that you that I'm much more used to playing mouse keyboard. Um, I don't know how. Well, I mean, we played on the PlayStation Three version of um, CS:GO. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we all struggled a little bit, but part of that was due to the fact that we're Xbox gamers and we were playing on the PlayStation control pad. So I certainly found it very unfamiliar. Um, I was watching uh, Mel's screen. He, <laughs> fe he found it more unfamiliar than I did because he, he was terrible. He couldn't yeah, hit anything. He was, he was pretty bad. Um, but yeah, that said, um, I, I'm really looking forward to uh, really looking forward to playing this on Xbox Live now with the Xbox Live community. I hope it brings the game back to its heydays. Brilliant. All right, thanks for inviting me, Ross, to commentate on this. Um, we will obviously bring more footage of Counter Strike Global Offensive when it comes out, but uh, I think we're running out of time. So, Man of WR signing off. Take care, everyone. Uh, word to your mother. Don't use my catchphrase. Oh God. <laughs>